Hey guys, it's Tiffany with Modern Mascara again, and we're making something new again. Hopefully this tastes good. Um, I was found out from Ginger, found out from Simply Jan that there is an open soup collab, which I think is totally awesome. It is called Super CK Collab. S-O-U-P-E-R-C-K Collab, which has been put on by Challenging Kitchen, Rhonda. Y'all need to go over and check her channel out. I just did, um, and uh, she has everything on there is about cooking, which is right up my alley. Um, she, it looks like she does do live cooking. I just, I think it is on Fridays, but I'm not for sure the time. So head over there and check that out because it's kind of cool to see somebody cooking live. That way you can, you know, actually live not on a video where we can edit it and all that stuff anyways so what i'm going to make is salmon chowder yeah salmon chowder i have been wanting to try this for a hot minute and it has corn in it and y'all know that mr c that's a no no um so i'm just gonna make myself <laughs> And we're going to see what it tastes like. So there's a lot of different ingredients in it. I'm sure this video may be a little longer than, you know, well, I don't know. A lot of my videos are long and it's okay. But I'm going to go through it kind of step by step and, and then piece the video together. So the first thing, I can kind of run through the list of everything you're going to need. And then we'll go step by step. So you're definitely going to need salmon, which ginger at not for nothing homestead she canned salmon and uh i got one of her cans of salmon so because i'm gonna send some of this down there to her to try so i'm excited because i've been wanting to try this chowder so you're of course going to need salmon you're going to need eight slices of bacon carrots celery dill garlic jalapeno onion a little bit of oregano potatoes, thyme, chicken broth, right here, uh, I canned my own potatoes, they're right here, a little bit of cornstarch to make a slurry to kind of thicken it up, uh, kosher salt, butter, heavy cream, you're going to need corn, and you're going to want to save the uh, kernels, I mean the cob, so it's kind of going to be the base of your soup, too. All right, so what I'm going to do is I got my little pot here going. And all I'm going to do is go ahead and fry up the eight pieces of bacon. Once you get them fried up, you're going to want to get them out, of course, and drain them. But leave the bacon grease in here. All right, so when I get that done, we'll be back. Okay, guys, I got all the bacon done and the bacon grease is in here and it's still warm. So the next step is to add your butter. You can add two to three tablespoons of butter. However, I am adding chive butter um, because there is onion in this. And uh, there we go. And then you're going to saute your vegetables in there. So you need one onion, two celery chopped up, a two, a one carrot peeled and chopped. This is a cow horn pepper that needs to go in there. You can use jalapeno or whatever you have. This is just what we had out here. I had to run down and get one from Ginger. And I am actually going to take my corn which I'm using three years of corn in this bag, and um, I'm going to fry it in the baking grease uh, just for the to enhance the flavor of it. It doesn't say that you have to do that, but I am. All right, so once I get all these sauteed, I'll bring you back and we'll go on to the next step, okay? I forgot to add, after this, we're gonna add in our garlic, which is going to be four cloves of garlic crushed. This needs to cook for eight minutes at least until your, especially the carrots are tender. 
and um, and then we're gonna do the garlic for an additional one minute and then I'll bring you back okay okay guys so I put all the vegetables in the bacon grease remember and um, and then I added the garlic so I show you this is so pretty actually I mean of course it's a lot of corn but I like corn so I'm happy with it um, so I forgot to mention that you do need uh, uh, crab juice and uh, so I did forget that so I have a couple of cans of crab meat that I have made some wontons uh, whatever you call them crab ragoons anyways so I used the last um, couple of cans I have and I got one cup of juice okay because next we're going to put in our juice and I'm actually going to put in the crab meat because I think I'm just going to add it in there because I don't have anything else to do with it so I got all my crab meat in one can and I'm just going to throw it in here and make sure I don't get the plastic and this is just the pink uh, bumblebee lump crab meat. I'm not lumped, but uh, just the crab meat itself. All right. So I'm going to put that in there and kind of mix it around. And it's not so big, you know, that you're going to be like, oh, gross, that's, you know, crab meat. All right. So the next thing you're going to do is add in your chicken broth and your, uh, it could be fish broth. That's fine. Um, and you want an, a three cup of it. So I got one cup of the fish, which is crap for me. I love chicken broth. And then I'm going to do two cups of my chicken broth, okay? And if I need more, I can add more because it's a lot of corn in there. It's kind of a good bit. Alright. So next, I'm going to add both the broths in here. And I may need more. So, it would be three cups of broth and one cup of your fish sauce, fish broth, whatever kind of fish broth you would like, okay? Actually, I'm just going to add the rest of this in there because there's not that much left. All right. So, once you get your broths in there... You are going to take your cobs, your corn cobs, and put them in there, just like this. Okay. I mean, it's already going to have a lot of corn flavor via all the corn in it. But, so the next thing you're going to do. So we added the crab, we added the chicken broth and the crab broth. We added the corn cobs. Sorry about that. We added the corn cobs and then we're going to add some fresh oregano on the stem in there. And I have ooh, some fresh thyme. And it says about four sprigs and uh, this has already been pulled off the sprig so we're just going to kind of guesstimate here and I just put a handful in there not a big handful you know about a tablespoon all right so then what you're going to do if you are using fresh potatoes okay this is where you're going to want to put them in here because this is going to cook for a while, I think, to pull the flavors out of the, because uh, you're going to bring it back up on high, 
and you're going to bring the flavors of the corn cob out in the soup and uh, this is where you would want to put your raw potatoes in there however I am using canned potatoes so um, so that step would be included in this portion now this will sit for a little while I would say it says to simmer for 10 minutes uh, but I probably uh, am going to let it simmer for about 20-25 minutes honestly um, because I love flavor and the more it sits with the corn cobs the thyme and the oregano it is going to bring out more of the flavor so after that <clears throat> we'll come back and we're going to take these corn cobs off I mean off out of there I'm going to put the lid on. we're going to take the corn cobs out of there and then we will be adding, we will be doing the cornstarch slurry, 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 and then we're going to add the heavy cream to thicken it up and some salt, okay? And the salmon, I forgot, the salmon, yeah, okay. So the bacon is going to go on the top as a garnish. The cow horn peppers or whatever um if you're using jalapeno whatever you want to save a couple of those to kind of sprinkle on top of the soup and the last thing it says that you're going to need um uh four tablespoons of dill now i'm not i'm not doing that much i'll put the recipe down in here but i am the only one eating this <laughs> so i do not need four tablespoons of dill because it's just the garnish okay guys so when this gets done in about 20 25 minutes i'll bring you back and we'll go we'll go into the next step and then we're going to try it when it once it all comes together all right we'll be back okay guys so we're so i went ahead and pulled out the corn cobs here and i replaced them with the potatoes the, and i tasted it and it is very very good i'm 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 in shock <laughs> i'm in shock that that base without the salmon yet is that good um the only thing i did was outside of the recipe because i'm known for messing with recipes um the only thing i did outside of that recipe and i'm pulling my um oregano with a stem out um is i did put a tablespoon of turmeric in it I like turmeric. It doesn't really have a, a wild, weird taste. I did it for the color because the color looked like fish water and nobody's going to want to eat that. So I did it to enhance the color in here. Um, so the next step is going to be to bring it up back up to a bowl and you're going to make a cornstarch slurry. And if you don't know what that is, it's three tablespoons of cornstarch to four tablespoons of water, okay? And when you put it in to the um, soup, if you've already made it up, make sure that you stir it at the bottom because it does get clumped up at the bottom. The cornstarch will fall. So I'm just going to, and you want to put it in while it's boiling, y'all. Um, it you want to cook that cornstarch so this is going to oh yeah real quick while it's thickening up see how thick that got really quick I'm going to turn it down on low now the potatoes are in there we just added the cornstarch slurry and they got that quick now the very last piece of the pie, I do not want this to thicken up too much. The very last piece of the pie is going to be the salmon, and I am putting the juice in with the salmon. One and a half cups of heavy cream is going to go in here as well. I'm hoping that it doesn't go over, but it is going to go in there as well. and. Um, you want to try this for salt because remember that fish seem to have a little bit of uh, salt. It says two tablespoons of kosher salt. 
but I'm not doing that much. Um, and let me see. Oh, yeah. Let me use this first. Um, so I'm just going to put. So you're going to do one and a half cups of heavy cream. And I'm just going to pour it in my measuring cup here that I just used. And y'all can see my mess. Let me stir this one more time. Oh, stir this one more time. Alright. So the only thing outside of the recipe that I did the recipe that I'm going to put in here is I put the uh, turmeric in there for color. Oh, and I did add a little bit of pepper, of course. So this is one cup that I'm going to put in there and mix it in, which this is going to make it, it almost looks like a curry soup. Man, it's good. I'm telling you. So right this second, I've got one cup in there. And it calls for a cup and a half, but that's not going to happen because I don't have enough room for my uh, salmon. So I'm going to go ahead. There you go. I'm going to go ahead and drain my salmon juice in here. Because I'm not going to waste that. So I'm going to drain my salmon juice and mix it in. And then I'm just going to flake off chunks like this of salmon and put it in there. Whoops. I oh, got myself. I already burnt my face with the bacon earlier. But it's all good. And you could use canned salmon, um, you know, from the store. Not something someone can. Um, or you could use fresh salmon, but it needs to be cooked or, uh, before you put it in your soup. gonna gently I'm gonna gently stir this cuz look it's at the rim with brim y'all literally fish Wow I'm so excited about this soup I am gonna taste it and make sure That it doesn't need any more pepper. I don't believe it's going to need any more salt. I'm not a big, big, big salt, salt fan. All I can say is yum. I mean, I'm telling you, I did not think this was going to turn out. That is so good. I am going to actually send some to Mr. C to try. I know he's going to trip on me about the corn, but he'll be okay. I did want him to try it. Oh, my gosh. The only thing I would do is just add a little pepper. But remember, you have your toppings, okay, that we're going to do. You've got your pepper, your, uh, well, ours is a uh, red horn pepper. The dill and the bacon goes on top. And that's just going to kick it up like, you know, BAM! Like that. So, I am going to make some crusty bread. And uh, we're going to build this soup up in a bowl. And we're going to try it. Because I'm telling you, if y'all have salmon, you need to make this chowder. 
it is very good all right we'll be back okay guys so what i got is just you know because it's just me i got a little bit of dill right here i got a few peppers and two pieces of bacon chopped up i should have never cooked eight pieces of bacon but i got another soup that i'm doing specifically for james and i need it i need the bacon so at least i won't have to waste another pack all right so the way this should look of course should be in a big bowl but this is going to be my bowl And it would be really good with a crusty bread. Like I said, later on I'm going to make the bread and probably eat this tonight for dinner. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to take a little bit of the dill and just sprinkle it on the top. And I really don't think you need the bacon. Honestly, I'm going to put a couple pieces in there because it's good by itself i i am very surprised so basically your soup should kind of sort of look like that in the bowl um yeah i've been wanting to try the soup forever i've told ginger several several times i wanted to make a um this uh salmon chowder excuse me so let's let's dig in All right, so I got salmon, potato, bacon, and a pepper. All right there in one bite. Hopefully it's not too hot. Oops, I dropped my pepper. Man. That is still very hot. Woo! Okay, let's try this again. All right. I think it's the potato that's hot, and I just bit into it. Woo! And I'll be honest with you, that cow horn's got a little kick to it. Mmm. Okay, so this time I got a little bit smaller piece of potato. There's your salmon, there's your bacon, and your dill is on the top. And let me grab a pepper. I love peppers. Okay. So, going in for a deep dive. Let's get it cooled off. I'll be honest, the bacon's throwing me off. Woo, that pepper is hot. Um, yeah, because I'm like, what is this crunchy stuff? It's good. It's good without the bacon or with the bacon either way. Man, this chowder is off the hook. I mean, off the hook. I'm very surprised. Um, because who has ever heard of salmon chowder? Clam chowder, yeah, but I mean salmon chowder, I don't know. Mm. And I'm telling you now, if you do not like um, 
when you go to put your toppings on here and you don't like spicy, make sure that you choose a pepper that's not or either de vein and de seed them, okay? Because, uh, you know, I like spicy though. I'm telling you, that is just so pretty. Oh my gosh. Mm. Mm. Man, that was worth it. Mm. Man, that is so good, y'all. I keep I hate to keep talking about it, but I was thinking it was gonna be like an epic fail. Um, wow. I mean, that would be good with crusty bread. You could even thicken it up a little bit more. I'm sure you could probably dump all of this in the crock pot and bring it together. Literally. Um, you could just saute your, um, you know, onions, carrots, all that down in the bottom of the crock pot. So, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to pull Jane's HR out and I am going to uh, try to see if I can get the actual corn kernels out and send it back with Maddie when she comes up um, because he'll be down there for a couple more weeks. Um, so anyways, guys, I'm telling you, y'all need to try this. It is, it is, it is the shiznick okay all right guys make sure you go check out miss rhonda i just found her um off of simply jan homestead you know simply jan uh homestead and uh ginger told me about her as well that about the open open soup collab um and it is hashtag super s-o-u-p-e-r-c-k collaboration okay and it's the ck stands for challenging kitchen which is rhonda's channel you need to go on there and look at it there is all kinds of recipes on there she does the live where she's physically co cooking live which i think is pretty cool uh that's something i've always wanted to do but have never jumped on that grenade yet uh but anyways and then you can go on her channel and click on the playlist as well and see some of the other collaborators in there that have put this out. All right, guys. Mm, that was a hit. Epic. All right. Y'all need to make this. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I hope you watched until the end when I got you with the uh, bam. Uh, that was good. This whole thing was, was worth it. All right. All right, guys, I love you so much. I will um, have a good rest of the week. Hey, and he loves you too, all right? All right, guys, I will see y'all on the next video. Bye.